Our reading this morning continues in the Gospel of Matthew, the seventh chapter. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who builds his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the wind blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain fell and the floods came and the wind blew and beat against that house and it fell and great was its fall. Only once have I ever cooked something that truly proved inedible. I was a first year divinity school student and I was looking to throw together a quick meal. And I started with a base of macaroni and cheese and then started digging through my fridge and pantry for other things I could add. And I'm gonna be honest, I made some poor choices, but I thought I could fix it. I kept adding different seasonings and different ingredients, thinking I could bring it back to something edible. I failed utterly. After a couple of bites, I had to mournfully toss the whole thing. Whether it's writing or building or cooking or one of many other tasks and interests, you sometimes hit a point in a project where you realize it just isn't salvageable. It's not a matter of finding the right word or getting the seasoning just right or adding the correct ornamentation. Sometimes there is something deep down wrong with the very structure of a project that means it isn't going to work out. It all goes back to beginnings, to foundations. The way something starts, its most basic concepts, will have a powerful effect on what comes after. Jesus is talking in this passage about that same kind of foundation, not just for a project, but for life. Sometimes we try and take a band-aid approach to our lives. We think we can cover up the problem. We can do some editing. We can find some fix that will make our wobbly little construct stand. But Jesus is offering a much more extreme prescription. As long as the project of our lives is built on a bad foundation, wealth, power, worldly achievement, self-sufficiency, it's never going to stand correctly. It's never going to be able to weather the difficulties of life. Jesus is giving us the hard but good word. Building on a weak and wobbly foundation, no matter how well we work, will always be unsteady. A life built on Him and His kingdom has to be our starting point. With a solid foundation under us, everything changes. Jesus wants us to build strange and grand and wonderful things with our lives, things that will stand through the chaos of this world. But we can only do that when we build our lives on Him and His kingdom, not the shifting ground of this world.